Hey guys, so for today's video, I thought I would do like a little bit of an informal get ready with me kind of video and a lot of people were, were requesting my like everyday makeup routine and I've done those in the past. Of course, it always changes as I find like new products and stuff, but I thought I would do like a get ready with me that way I can kind of show you the things that I have been using lately like on the daily that are my favorite things right now I feel like I have some really good things to show you as well as just kind of chat a little bit and just kind of like you're chatting with your best friend I thought it would just be really easy to do it this way since I had to get ready for the day anyways I figured I might as well just bring you all along with me so I am just going to do like my everyday routine nothing fancy no like false eyelashes or anything like that I'm going to try and keep this pretty simple and show you what I do on a normal daily basis now sometimes I do look like this all day and I don't do my makeup at all and I am in need of some self tanner because I am so white I'm like blending into the background um so yes don't be afraid don't turn off the camera I know I look scary right now but I'm going to go ahead and show you what I do on a daily basis so let's go ahead and get started okay so I recently talked about a foundation that I have been absolutely loving and I mentioned it on Instagram like an Instagram post and I said I found the most amazing drugstore foundation and a lot of people were wondering what it was so I'm going to show you that now you are not going to like this foundation if you like full coverage and if you have oily skin so this is the Neutrogena hydro boost hydrating tint this is what it looks like all right so this is the Neutrogena hydro boost hydrating tint with hyaluronic acid and it says it moisturizes and plumps skin for 24 hours I have normal to dry skin and I don't need a very full coverage foundation on an everyday basis I was looking for something that didn't look so cakey on my skin and this stuff is where it's at I use this moisturizer and I really like the moisturizer but I had seen a few people talking about this so I went ahead and gave it a try and I love it now the applicator is a little bit weird it's got this doe foot applicator like this which is fine because it kind of controls the product instead of like pouring it out on your hand or something and then you get too much or whatever but you do have to put quite a bit of this on your face now remember that it is marketed as a tint um, so borderline foundation slash tint I don't know but what I do is I literally just smear this all over my face like Indian war paint this buff color is really a perfect match for my skin tone, but if I am self tan, I have to have a little bit of a darker color, so I usually end up mixing it because I don't have a darker color yet, but I should probably just invest in one because I love this foundation. So as you can see, I feel like I'm having to put a whole lot on, but like I said, it is a tint. So I just kind of like rub it all over my face and then blend it in with my Real Techniques sponge. And this is damp already. I dampened it before I came over to film. Okay, so I turned one of my lights off over here and I think maybe that will help to kind of keep it not so bright on my face so you can see what I'm actually doing. So I do have my foundation on now and I'm going to go ahead and put on my concealer. Now I am literally almost out of this and I meant to pick this up yesterday when I was at the grocery store. But yesterday was just like pure chaos so I'm not surprised that I forgot to pick this up but it is the a Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light, and you can see that this thing has been through the ringer. I definitely need some more of this, so you'll be seeing this in an empties video, but... So, I didn't want to just, like, completely talk about makeup this whole time, because... Not that that's boring, but you've probably already seen me use a lot of these products before. So, um, I was going to tell you about my day yesterday. Hopefully I don't bore you all, but... So we've been like house hunting and um, you know it's going well so far we haven't been house hunting for too long now but we're gonna look at one this evening which I'm really excited about but um so we went house hunting yesterday morning and then my um, littlest had a doctor's appointment um, just his nine-month checkup so as you can see I just put the concealer like under my eyes and um, I'm gonna put a little bit on my chin and around my nose and on my nose but anyways um, he had a doctor's appointment yesterday and I got there and 
We changed insurances, so I forgot my insurance card at home, go figure. I didn't have the information, so they gave me like 10 minutes. They were like, well, you have 10 minutes to figure out the information. So I called, I was, well, I was trying to call, and my cell phone was not getting good service in there in the doctor's office, so I had to reschedule the appointment, and that was just frustrating because if you have kids and you know how... <laughs> Like, how hard it is to get to the doctor's office on time, and like, you know, I woke Cooper up from his nap to take him to the doctor's appointment. It was just, it was a huge mess. So, I had to reschedule it for next week, and he's already passed like nine months, so it's really going to end up being like a ten-month appointment. That's my own fault, but I, I'm usually always on time, but I have been so busy lately. Anyways, so we get in the car, and... Cooper is just not happy because I woke him up from his nap, which took him like an hour to even go to sleep. Then I had to wake him up to go to this doctor's appointment that ended up being canceled because I didn't have my member ID number for my insurance. So he's screaming on the way home and Carter's crying about something like I didn't let him... I don't even know what it was, but you know, he's three, so everything is like a tragedy. And I didn't let him get something, so they're both crying, and I forgot my, you know, my um, insurance card, and my husband is out of town, and I have been with the kids, like, all weekend, my husband had been working all weekend, and I had just, like, had it. You know those days where you're just like, I just, you just can't do it anymore? that was one of those days. Okay, this is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Pressed Powder, and I just used this to kind of set my foundation a little bit. Um, not, you know, heavily or anything, just a little bit under my eyes, forehead, stuff like that. I am so white. I am so white. Every time I see this, I'm like, oh my god, you need some color on your face. And now I'm going to be using the Famous Butter Bronzer. But, Anyways, I was on my way home, and everyone in the car is crying, and I had just had it, so guess who else started crying? <laughs> Me! So I'm just like driving home, and I just, I, I just can't take it anymore, and I just start crying. So we're all crying, all of us in the car, just crying on the way home. And then Carter notices that I'm crying, and he's like, Mommy, why are you crying? And it's just, it's so hard to be a mom sometimes. And... You know, I had I had somebody comment on my Instagram, because I made an Instagram post about it yesterday. I obviously can't put on makeup and talk at the same time. But I had um, somebody comment on Instagram yesterday, and they said, I'm, I needed this tonight because I feel like everybody else has it together, you know? So true, because you look at Instagram, you know, after you've had a long day or whatever, and you look at Instagram, and you're like, man, everybody else... It looks like they have it together. And my feed probably even looks like that too, but I think some of us just hide it better. Everybody has those days where it's just nothing's going your way and being a mom or being a wife or whatever you do, it's just hard. And I think people need to see that side of you and not like sugarcoating it all the time. Like it's okay to be like, you know what, today sucked and I was a bad mom or I cried in the car because I'm just, I'm tired. And we get home and Carter's like, mom, why are you crying? And you know, he's only three so he doesn't understand and I don't like really cry in front of him very much, but um, he was like, is it, what's that? He's like, is it because you lost your inspection card? <laughs> it was so cute. He meant insurance card. And I was like, oh baby, no, I didn't, not because I lost my inspection card. I said, it's just hard to be a mom sometimes, that's all, but I'll be okay, you know, and as the day went on, it got better, and then I went to HEB because I had to get some diapers, I, we, like, Cooper was literally, hold on, I need to fix my bronzer, I'm just talking away, my bronzer looks like super muddy, so hold on just one second, let me fix this, so, um, Anyways, I was going to HEB and we were, Cooper was literally sitting in his last diaper 
and yeah that's pretty bad so we had to go to the store and I was also out of trash bags this was like what also led to the chaos because I knew I needed to go to the store but my children were in no condition to go to the grocery store so we had to go home first chill out and then get to the grocery store and I get to the checkout at the grocery store and I left my wallet in the car like I was just a hot mess I don't so I had to leave my groceries there they were really nice they just kind of like turned off the light on the on the on the lane and I, luckily I was parked in the front so I just ran out grabbed my wallet and came back in um, and paid for my groceries so it wasn't that big of a deal but by the time I got home I was just like what <laughs> I'm ready to go to bed and I had started a new day so I made some chocolate chip cookies and before I went over to the grocery store I went and got some of the dining room table dining room table chairs dining room chairs that I had really been wanting. I got them from at home and um, I'll show you guys like in a vlog or something what they look like but I'm really really excited about them. We had some cloth chairs on our dining room table and uh, they do not have <laughs> do not get cloth chairs when you have children. There is like stuff all over them. By the way what I'm putting on my cheeks is the Milani Baked Blush in Dulce Pink. Okay so another um, this video is going to be so long. <laughs> I apologize. If you make it to the end, you deserve you deserve a cookie. I'll send you some cookies your way. But I'm going to be using the Flower Beauty. I talked about this on Instagram, I believe. I had seen this by Miss Gold Girl. Uh, Marnie had talked about it. And somebody else had mentioned it a long time ago and they were telling me I should try it out. And I don't know why I didn't. But it is an awesome highlighter. You can find it at Walmart. This Flower Beauty stuff is sold at Walmart. I had to check a few Walmarts before I found it. So I guess not every Walmart has it. And I haven't found the best brush. I mean, this brush is not terrible, actually. The one that comes with it. I've used it a few times. It's not, it's not that bad, actually. I want to get a nice fan brush, but I haven't found any at the... And, of course, I'm looking at the drugstore because that's just who I am. But I did get this one, and it's actually for your eyes. It's a blending, bl br blending brush by Scone. And it's actually a really nice um, brush, and I do use it, you know, to blend my eyeshadow. But I also like to use it for my highlighter right here because it's, like, the perfect size, and it's very, like, fluffy. So I'm going to use that for my highlighter, and I like to mix these two shades right here. These two. I haven't been brave enough to try this gold one. Whoops. I like to mix the pink and, the like, the champagne color and just kind of go right along my cheeks right here love this highlighter I feel like you can really really see it like I in my vlog the other day I realized that you could see it when I was talking in um, our little me and Sydney's little hall and I was like man that's some good stuff so this is a really good highlighter if you're looking for a good drugstore one All right so apparently I have a very heavy highlight tan so I'm just like go into town with that but yes I do wear all of this on a normal basis I have like two looks it's either homeless or like I'm done up and uh, I guess maybe there's a medium if I want to look a little bit put together but I don't feel like doing the rest of it like I said in my vlog the other day I don't mind doing my makeup it's my hair that I hate to do so much um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes now. This is like the very uh, minimalistic eye look that I've been loving lately. And you all know that I don't particularly love a whole lot of eyeshadow. I'm going to use my Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer. And I really like this stuff. I used a different one um, for a little while. And I still like it because it gives you a little bit of color. It's the... Uh, Maybelline Master Prime and as you can see it's like a champagne kind of um, primer which is really interesting so if you want to do like an all one step thing this is very pretty because you don't have to add anything it's like a primer and has some color in it which is good but I have found that it still creases a little bit when I wear my eyeliner so if you're gonna wear eyeliner I probably wouldn't recommend that it's a little bit frustrating but this wet n wild one does not disappoint it does not crease when I'm wearing eyeliner I have not had a problem and my eyeshadow stays all day long so that being said wet n wild is the way to go if I don't wear an eyeshadow primer 
my eyeshadow will crease and it's not a good look for me. So this is another really good product. I know I had talked about these a long time ago. These were like my go-to everyday mommy makeup. Get it done quickly. Well, they came out with new colors and I was terrified that they were going to discontinue them, but these are the Revlon Color Stay Cream Eyeshadows. So it looks like this. And this is in the color 730 and I want to say it's called praline but it doesn't say on the packaging which is really strange and another thing that they did with the packaging is that they've included like you slide this out and it has a little brush which I think is very interesting because I've never used a brush to apply this I've always just used my finger I feel like a brush would be kind of weird with a cream eyeshadow. I don't know. That's just me. But I just stick my finger in here and put it all over my lids and you're like one and done. And I love this color. It's like a champagne-y kind of color. It's not too dark. It's not too light. It gives just enough color and shimmer to your lids. You could add like a matte in the crease or um, which sometimes I do. I'll add like a a brown, a very light brown in the crease and then do something in the outer corner if I want to transition this from like day to night or something but a lot of times I just use this and it's very pretty for the day because it's just you see can you see that shimmer probably not but it's just very very easy I mean look at me I'm putting this on with my fingers makeup tutorials are obviously not my forte like there's no Laura Laura Lee you're not looking at no Laura Lee in this video Oh, that's funny so the other day th this video is all over the place but the other day my husband was like you need to think of something to call your like your subscribers and I was like you know because we were laughing or not laughing but saying that Laura Lee calls her followers like Laura Lee's or something like that and I was like well I could call them leeches like my last name is leech and leeches and then he was like no <laughs> My poor kids are going to be called that when they're growing up in school. It's okay because when I was younger, they used to say, Oh, you're so boring. Brittany, boring. Okay. Eyebrow time. Um, I don't know why I just did that. Eyebrow time. I think I'm going to use my Benefit Goof Proof Pencil. I am still like on the fence about this. I do like it. This is in the shade number one. Y'all know that I was using the Gimme Brow for a really long time and that was very comparable to this Essence uh, Make Me Brow and I still really like the Gimme Brow. I mean, I like this and the Gimme Brow um, since they're so comparable. Something about the pencils just, I don't, I don't know. I got this because Makeup by Tiffany D always talks about it. This is her favorite eyebrow pencil and we're like the same person. And I love her so much, but <laughs> um, I got this because she recommended it, and I was like, well, you know, she has it, I should have it. So, hmm, I just don't know if I'm going to repurchase it. It is a good eyebrow pencil, but I feel like I like the gel better just for my eyebrows because they are so weirdly shaped. And I feel like maybe I should not be talking while trying to do my eyebrows. So I'm going to do these and I'll be right back. So I finished my eyebrows. I think I'm having a bad eyebrow day. This one always wants to do whatever it wants to do. It is very rebellious and it's not listening to me today. So I guess I'm just having a bad eyebrow day, but it's fine. It's fine. I'll live with it. I'm going to go ahead and use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. It just spritz it all over my face before I put on my mascara and eyeliner because I've made that mistake before. Don't do that. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and use my Maybelline Master Precise Curvy Eyeliner and put that on. There is no way I'm going to be able to talk and put on eyeliner at the same time. So I'm going to put that on and I'll be right back. As you can see, I put on my eyeliner. Yes, I do pretty much wear eyeliner almost every day. Probably like, if I'm doing my makeup, I'm usually going to put on eyeliner. Sometimes I skip it if I'm just feeling super lazy, but I kind of feel like, well, there's two reasons. One is because my eyes are very small and eyeliner kind of helps to like open them up a little bit. The other reason is because if I'm going to go through all this, I might as well just put on the eyeliner you know what I mean it takes a whole extra like two minutes so now I'm gonna go ahead and use the Essence Lash Princess Mascara and let's see I will 
try to talk with this. I am not used to this big wand. Um, I used to use the um, CoverGirl, what is it, the Super Sizer Mascara, and it has a very small wand, so while trying to get used to this wand, I always, always get it on my eyelid, which is really frustrating because the, the wand isn't that big. It's just bigger than what I'm used to, so I'm always like getting this all over my eyelid and it makes me so mad. Like, there's nothing worse than getting mascara on your face or having to sneeze while you're doing your mascara. It's like your body is like, oh, she's putting on mascara. Let's sneeze. What is this? See what I'm saying? You see this? Every time. So my mascara is on. I figured I should probably turn off the camera while I finish that because I was getting mascara everywhere. And I'm just going to go ahead and use my super sizer because the wand is much smaller. And just put a little bit on my lower lashes. I don't do this all the time. I will sometimes run like a little bit of a darker eyeshadow underneath my eyes. Just a little bit. Sometimes I don't do anything. Um, let's just say for the most part I don't usually do anything. But I'm just going to put a little bit of this under my lashes real quick. Alright, so that is the face done, and the very last thing I'm going to do is put on my lip color, and I actually have not used this before. Well, I have, so not this color, but I have used the actual product before. It's the Revlon Matte Balm, and you guys know I used to wear this stuff all the time in the fall. This is the color Sultry. I used to wear this nonstop in the fall. I have been eyeing this honey color for so long. And I finally picked it up yesterday at the grocery store because all the Revlon products were like $2 off. So I think this was like 4 something. So, oh wait, this one doesn't turn. That's interesting. So this says Balm Stain and this says Matte Balm. That's interesting. This one turns at the bottom and this one, oh wait. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on and I'm going to show you, tell you how I like it. It goes on just like the other one. I love easy lip products that don't feel like you have heavy stuff on your lips. I, I just really like this stuff better than the whole lip sense trend because I feel like lip sense is too heavy on my lips. It's just it's just too much for me. Maybe if I need it to stay all day, if I've got some extremely serious event, maybe if I'm like going swimming in the ocean or something and I want to not have my lip color come up, I don't even know. I just feel like it's too heavy on my lips and I can't even take the stinging of it. It hurts too bad. Like why? Why would you want to put on a lip product that made your lips sting when you put it on? Apparently that's supposed to be exfoliating your lips, but I don't even care like it hurts too much And then it just feels it just doesn't feel good on my lips So I'm not into the whole lip sense thing, but I'm into this. It just feels good. and I love this color It's not too shiny Like a very glossy lip gloss, but it's also not matte and it feels like a chapstick Which is awesome because my lips have been really really chapped lately it just feels comfortable. This is awesome. I, I'm obviously a really big fan of these Revlon Balm Stain or Balm Stain and Matte Balms. I really like the way that these feel on my lips and the color of them. They're gorgeous. So, Alright guys, so thank you so much for joining me for my Get Ready With Me video. If you are still here after that very long chatty session of me putting on my makeup. You are the best. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. You deserve to go pick up a new lipstick or go get yourself some coffee or something. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching my videos. It means the world to me. Don't forget to enter my giveaway which ends... what is today? Today is the 28th, so it ends in three days. It ends in the end of March, so uh, March 31st will be the last day to enter. And then I will be announcing my giveaway winner probably April 1st, um, but keep a lookout for that. I don't know what day April 1st 
falls on, but I will announce it like on Instagram and Twitter and um, in whichever video follows March 31st, I will announce it as well. And I'm so excited to send that off to whoever wins, so don't forget to enter that giveaway. It's a few videos back, and I will also link it in the description box below. And then I will try and list um, these products and link them in the description box below. That way you don't have to like go back and like move the cursor to like rewind and go back to figure out which products I used at which point. Um, I know that that's a really big hassle so I will definitely link those below for you if I can find them online and that is about all that I have to say today. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys all in Friday's video. Bye!